Now in this video I'm going to show you how to change the knife on these um, hook overlockers. They're all the same on the Brother, on the Janome, on um, Singers, they're all in the exact same way. You just need to get the right knives. Now I picked these up on Amazon for £6. These fit the Neki OV234, they also fit the Singer S1478. They also fit the FAF Element 1450. You've got to remember that there's only a handful of sewing machine manufacturers out there. They make the blades for their machines and then there are other people who will make blades too. So they have the same dies, so they can make the same knife. The knives come like this, really, really simple. Switch the machine off and take the plug out. Just be very safe. This machine has a safety mechanism. If this looper door is open, the machine will activate. But just in case, just get in the habit of doing that. I do this on all sorts of machines. So it's just a, a good habit to get into. I'm gonna angle the machine so you can see where we are. So I've got the two knives here. I've got this hook knife here. That's the one that bobs up and down. And then we have this knife here. This is the one that stays stationary it doesn't move i'm going to move that stitch finger out the way so you can see that better so that stays stationary all right so we've got this crosshead screwdriver that can go in there now i've got a really long screwdriver now this screwdriver is going to help me put some force onto that screw so i'm going to hold onto the machine this way this is tightened by a machine so it's quite tight so a long handle screwdriver really helps you um position that force in the right place so just undo that carefully and just remember even if you've nicked that knife it's going to be really sharp so there might be a sharp point there let's move that out of the way and then we can move unscrew this second stationary knife and you can see that there are channels in which these knives sit So they sit there quite happily. Going to, it's quite a long screw, so just take your time. And, and there they are. So there's my two knives. Okay. Now I'm just going to show you to compare them with the ones I've bought that cost me um, less than £10. So there's the blade. So let's do a quick comparison. So there's the stationary blade and they are exactly the same. Same dimensions. Just a different colour metal, not a different metal, just tempered differently, treated differently. So the one with the machine might be slightly more tempered. Um, but the quality will be more or less the same. I mean, these blades that they put in these machines cost the company pennies, but they're cut by the same sort of die cut. So you can see there's a slight difference in the blade knife, but I've used these same blades in S1478s and they're absolutely fine, and in the neckies, and they're absolutely fine. Um, right, I'm not going to use the ones that are brand new in the box because the ones on the machine are brand new apart from the few uses I've had. So I'm going to just replace that and put that away. And then I'm going to replace the knives that came on the machine. So I'll position you back. And again, we're going to start with the one that's stationary. So I'm going to just place that in there and not worry about that rectangular hole just for the minute just make sure that's placed in there now that seems to be staying there with the um you know the, the shape so if i just tighten that screw and then we'll worry about that oval that oval is just going to i'm going to move the knife over very very shortly Okay, so I'm not all the way there, almost all the way there. So what I'll do is just use my tweezers and I'll push that blade all the way up. And because it's still loose, I'm gonna tighten that a little bit more. 
and then just give it one more shove just make sure it's all the way up and you can see there's a gap there can't you and just tighten that hold on to the machine and just give it one real turn and then we'll do the same with the blade with the hook blade just place that in there in that channel there's not really much you can do wrong here Start it off with can be fiddly. That's okay. Don't be put off or frightened about doing these things. Just have a go. There will be a lot of people who tell you all these things will go wrong and you'll cause more damage than uh, anything. But you know we all. We all start writing words, we all start doing sums, we all go to school and if we don't if we don't take the challenge, if we don't accept the challenge, you'll never succeed and you'll never know if you can. So give it a go and then really push on that screw and tighten it up. You don't want that loose, you want that nice and tight. And there we go. So just make sure that oval is pushed. So before I tightened it up, I didn't show you. So before I tightened it up, I just made sure I pushed that blade all the way up. So then I can see that oval exposed, just like I did with that one. Push it all the way up. So then we've got a bit of that oval exposed. And then that way I know that the knife is in the right position. I'll close this looper door, plug the machine back in. Okay, switch the machine on, switch it, plug it all in and let's give this a go. Make sure we're on standard sewing. And there we go. So we're back to our normal stitching and the knife is set back in its right place. It's really easy to do, just give it a go. Um, and have a little practice just make sure your knife is in tight um, so that it doesn't come loose but if it does come loose you know what to do now okay have a great day